Hey guys, so after years of questioning and wondering when Tesla was going to officially activate Matrix LED system, we're finally getting some really great news. However, it may not be exactly what you're hoping for. Given the strict nature of NHTSA, Tesla and other car manufacturers were not able to implement adaptive headlights and sell the vehicles within the United States. This is completely different than other parts of the world such as Europe where you'll see adaptive headlights create patterns on the road, blackout, as it sees oncoming traffic and bend with you as you turn your steering wheel. So because of this and for the ease of manufacturing, Tesla decided moving forward they were going to go a ways with the projector bulbs which was seen on the earlier Model S's and move forward with the reflectors. Now skipping forward a few additional years, things have completely changed and Tesla got the hint that NHTSA was going to change their tone and that adaptive headlights were going to be available for all models across the US. They had anticipated that the regulations was going to change so they started off with the Model 3s and the new projector headlights and then it slowly moved over to the Model Y, the S and then finally the X. Now this entire transition took a span of a few years. Believe it or not the Model X just recently switched over to the projector matrix LEDs. But all of this is really great because it sets it up for the future and all the technology matrix LED is able to provide. And now 2021 hits and later in the year Tesla launched the very first holiday update with the light show and this was our first glimpse of what is more to come. There was a single light show pre-installed in this update that was playing songs with the windows moving up and down and a bunch of other cool features but there is one key highlight to all this that gave us the future technology of the matrix headlights. It essentially was able to project the words Tesla onto a wall once you are parked up close to a flat surface. What this means is this is our first sign of what the matrix LED is capable of and once Tesla activates it there is so many cool things that it's able to do. Now unfortunately from that point on there was really no new updates. There was the 2022 holiday update which didn't give us any customizations in terms of what's being projected but to our surprise earlier this year NHTSA has switched up their tone and removed the restriction to adaptive headlights meaning now that vehicle manufacturers are able to include it and enable the software before they sell the vehicle. This would allow you guys living in the states to get all the features that Europeans were able to get years back. This means that the light is able to bend with the road and it's able to block out certain areas for oncoming traffic. There is so many other cool features. Now I have a video specific on the Model 3 Highland Matrix LED headlights. If you guys want to check that out I will drop a link in the description below and up top there but there are some new hardware to it and you guys don't want to miss that out. Now Tesla being Tesla has jumped on it right away and they filed for a European certification for the activation of the LED matrix headlights. For some reason the certification has only indicated that it's going to be active on the Model 3 Highlands with the newer hardware although I don't have any reason to believe it's not coming to all other models as well. The whole entire point of future proofing the headlights from years back is that so it can all be activated at the exact same time and this is drastically going to improve safety when driving at night. Now why they're doing this exactly I'm not completely sure although it's good to note that Tesla usually likes to test out newer software in smaller batches so this is going to be the new Model 3 Highland batches as they're the cars that have the least amount on the roads. I would not say that this is down to the newer hardware because there are some changes inside of the Model 3 Highlands that are not even on the same level as the projector bulbs on the older models. If you guys want to know more about that like I said I dropped that link in the description already so click on that if you guys want to see what's different. Another thing that can possibly be is that they want to make the Model 3 Highlands very exclusive right now so people are more psyched up to buy the newer vehicle. I think this is going to start out on the smaller scale and eventually move out to the entire fleet in a couple months. But yeah overall this is great news. It means that Tesla is prioritizing convenience features now and the latest one being the auto wiper fix. They've made sure that auto wiper is working in all scenarios now which is really great and hopefully the certification is specific to the Model 3 Highlands and there are other certifications for the other models which we might have missed and even possibly the adaptive headlight feature is going to be enabled on all vehicles at the exact same time. Anyways guys this should wrap it up for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The holiday is coming up so I do wish you guys a really great Christmas. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that bell notification so I can keep you guys as updated as possible on any of the changes with any of these updates and so much more. I'll still be active on X so you guys can 
hit me up there at Hey John E. We can chat whatever even throughout the holiday. Uh, but I'm gonna take a few days off just to enjoy with my family. Uh, anyways, guys, this is John once again. Peace out.